Well, welcome to the new lesson, Unit 5, Objectives 9 and 12C. 9 is using properties of logs, and then the 12C is actually solving log equations using the properties of logs. So we need the properties of logs in order to solve these equations, and so that's the first type of log equation we're going to start with. As you can see on the left-hand side here, we've got the properties of exponents. We know that uh, we have a product rule, meaning when you multiply the two bases are the same. So we have this uh, first base, x to the a times x to the b. As long as those bases are the same, then we just get x to the a plus b. Now that relates to the property of logs in which when we have the log of x plus the log of y, notice the bases are the same. And again, if you don't see... Uh, a number there, at the uh, uh, kind of a subscript of this log, log base something, that's base 10. So when we don't see the 10 there, it means base 10. Anyway, when we have log of x plus the log of y, that's equal to the log of x times y. And if you notice, we've got, uh, it, when you have, when you're multiplying the bases, you add the exponents, and when you're adding the logs, you multiply what we call the arguments. So notice that multiplication and addition are in the same exact property, just like in logs, just like they are in properties of exponents. And then when we see, we'll go ahead and down here and look at the um, at the next property, the quotient rule. When we have a uh, quotient of two uh, powers that are the same. Uh, or the bases are the same, x to the a divided by x to the b, x to the a minus b. And then if we have log of x minus log of y, we get log of x divided by y. So again, we see when we have a subtraction in the problem, we have the quotient. So when there's subtraction, there's a quotient, just like in exponents, properties. And then the third and final property of logs that we need to make sure we understand and remember is the power rule. And that is if you have log of x to the a, so if x is being raised to the a power, we get to actually bring that a out in the front. So we take that exponent and we can move it out to the front and we write that, that log expression as a times the log of x. Now again, guys, the the bases could be anything. So if it's base b, if it's base 2, base 3, base whatever, base e even, uh, the properties remain the same. So we could have uh, like, like ln of x to the a, that's equal to a times the ln of x. So regardless of the base, the properties remain the exact same. So let's go ahead and flip on over here and we'll do a few examples so you can see how this is used in real time. Uh, ultimately, the, uh, the bread and butter is the log, if the log of x is equal to the log, let's say, of 5, then we would say that x is equal to 5. And that, it's really as simple as that. So, in other words, if the logs are the same, if the logs are the same, the arguments, and I don't have a lot of room here, so I'm going to write arguments the same. Logs are the same, meaning the log, the base is the same, then the arguments have to be the same. So that's, that's simple. That's, that's the premise with which we're going to use uh, in, uh, in this particular set of, uh, of lessons here. Uh, and we have, to be able to, uh, we have to be able to actually rewrite log expressions like this. Log of, let's say, log of x plus log of 5 if that's equal to the log of 20, let's say. 
Well, ultimately, we want to make sure we get the equation looking like this. We have to get log on one side, log on the other. So we take these two logs and we write, rewrite those two logs as one. And we use the product rule. So the log of x plus log of 5 is the log of x times 5. Or you could write it as 5x equals the log of 20. And then therefore, we have, uh, since the bases are the same, bases are the same, we have log on each side, base 10 then it's like we can cancel out those logs and say, well, the arguments then have to be the same. So we would say, therefore, let me get my blue, we would say x times 5 or 5x must equal 20, and therefore x is actually equal to 4, and that's it. So that's our bread and butter. We'll do some more examples in the following videos.